Hello everyone, Trash Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. I'd like to welcome you to the first official unboxing video on season two. Um, I say official unboxing because I've already done one, which was only available for patrons when up, uh, back in early to mid March. Uh, it was actually a birthday present that I received, including a truly special one of a kind spider that um, absolutely amazing. Those of you that know what that is, absolutely amazing having a spider um, that was sort of named after me. So. Uh, yeah, so that's something quite cool. I will show you that in a future video. Uh, but for now, I'm going to be unboxing a package that came from the spider shop. Uh, this is actually being recorded a day late because of a problem where uh, I, I missed the delivery, even though I was in. I don't think the postman sort of, and they sort of knocked really, really lightly and then fled. And um, I went to the post office to get it. I, um, they told me it wasn't there, gave me the package for someone else. Uh, so last night I was talking to Sam from the spider shop to sort of find out where it was and uh, this morning knocked at the door, it was a manager from the post office came around to personally apologise and uh, basically sort of collected the package and I went to the post office to pick up the box uh, which is this big and uh, yeah this was a gift um, to me from my girlfriend uh, which is really really nice, we did lose quite a lot of slings so I know that most of these spiders in here are slings, which is still really, really awesome. Um, so obviously looking at, you know, building the collection up again, um, with obviously the amount of losses that we had, sadly, um, one of those things. But now that we're here, I spend, I'm spending, I don't know, I mean, I've been off today and yesterday, and I've spent most of my, my time in here. Um, and on, on the evenings, I'm in here for at least sort of two, three hours on an evening, feeding, watering, maintaining, watching, observing, all that kind of thing. So. Uh, I'll be able to keep a really close eye on these spiders and um, yeah I just hope that you'll enjoy what I have in this box and uh, you'll sort of see the you know enjoy and uh, watch the future updates on them so without further ado I'm gonna make a start I've actually got all of the enclosures ready for them as well I did that last night so um, yeah we're gonna get straight into it and as always uh, thank you to the spider shop uh, if you are someone who's been on my channel for a long time you know all about the spider shop um, I do actually have a t-shirt that I normally wear when I'm unboxing their things. It's in storage somewhere, it's in a bin bag of clothes or something like that. No idea where it is, it's about somewhere. Uh, so for now, I just get, I'll have a sort of like, sticker logo up here at the spider shop uh, for sending this over. Of course, I work very closely with them. I work with them at shows and things like that. And um, yeah, just genuinely have a really good relationship with them. So thank you to everyone from the spider shop as always. And uh, yeah, let's just carry on and get this opened. Very quickly, some of you might have noticed this folder in the background up there, just on the shelf. Uh, if you'd like to see a video of what this is, I did have a, um, I was planning to do a video on it anyway, but I haven't got around to it, but if you are interested in seeing that, uh, let me know. I have uh, some really cool um, sort of tarantula sort of cards in here and some other bits and bobs. So if you'd like to see a, a review of this product, let me know and shout out to Keeper Cards. Uh, they've been really supportive of me recently, so greatly appreciated to uh, Danny and uh, his partner for the work that they do. Okay then everyone, I hope you can all see me okay. I hope, hopefully the backdrop is okay for, um, you know, viewing pleasure, I guess. Uh, something new in here, you haven't seen these yet. You will see that in a future video coming up as well as something else that's um, flocks of fun. <laughs> that was clever, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go get it unboxed and um, Anyone that caught that joke, um, or the the pun, then good on you. Um, so yeah, I'll purposely unbox it this way, um, so that you can't see my address. Good on it. My girlfriend's still laughing at me. Hey! I wish I, I could have like, like a little, like, like a Nerf gun that fires these. <laughs> It'd be absolutely amazing. I want to annihilate my girlfriend, honestly. Now you just get the strength of me and wind. Not that kind of wind, but you know, breeze. <laughs> okay, so inside the box, as always, I have to sort of show this because the spider shop do an amazing job of uh, packaging all of their um, orders. Never had a problem with the spider shop for as long as I've been using them. Um, there are other companies I do use as well, and others I will definitely be looking to use um, 
definitely sort of venomous visions, uh, tiny web and uh, weird and exotic inverts or weird and exotic creatures, I think it is, um, which is uh, Joe Cashmore and Holly Grant because uh, they helped me out recently a lot as well. So, so box of slings. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna sort of go through, show you what I've got, and then I'm gonna be individually rehousing every single thing. So this is an unboxing and a rehousing video in one. I'll try and keep it as short as I can, but again, if you've been watching my channel for, you know, longer than the last sort of year kind of thing, you will know I have a real good habit of talking a lot. So um, I will try and go through this quite quick, but um, bear with me. So, um, okay, first up, we have a um, Cereopagipus lividum, and this is the GF, which is green femur. Um, another C lividum um, green femur. femur. We have um, Scolopendra dehani, uh, this is the yellow leg. Uh, another Scolopendra dehani yellow leg, so two of those. C Juani. That one's the... Um, hot slingles in your area. Hot slingles in your area. Can I put a picture of I might put a picture up here of what the logo for that is. Uh, this is um, the Spire Shop's genius marketing of doing amazing pictures. Um, they've done quite a few over the years that are genuinely really, really good. Okay, these are the... Okay, so these um, these are D. Lavis, the Milkback Isopods. I know you ordered the Crystal White Isopods. Um, if I can get a picture of them here, um, I will use them. Uh, all credit goes to the spider shop. Um, but they were basically had a message from Toby from the spider shop to say that they were sort of sold out and that they were going to send these. But oh, this one's really cool actually as well. They're like um, white and speckled olive, I guess. So very pretty, really pretty. The, the uh, Planeta, which are the um, pink. pink dragon millipedes, uh, there's two of those in there. I'll show you those again shortly. These are amazing, I have had them before. Um, this is the O Species Blue, the Panay. Uh, this one is yours, isn't it? Yep. Uh, C Lividum, so this is the standard um, Severe Pagopus Lividum. Um, C Minax. Um, we have a P Ammonia, which is wonderful, I do like. Um, all kind of summer post tarantulas I absolutely love. Another Scolopendra de Harney. This one is the orange leg. So we've got three, three beads. Make that four. Uh, another S uh, de Harney orange. So two yellow legs, two orange legs. Another C lividum. Um, this one is the um, emerald. emerald green. Yep. So, I'm gonna swap that and that one so I keep them all together. Another C lividum, standard. I think that might be it. Another hot slingles in your area, C Huani. And another C, um, C lividus, um, emerald green. And also two tubs of, two tubs of mealworms. We do have quite a lot of feeders anyway. We have, um, Madagascar hissing cockroaches, uh, various hoppers that I can have access to those at work. And I do breed mealworms as well, but we just needed a bit of a, sort of a, a good injection into the, uh, uh, back into the, the colony. So in total, there's 11 tarantula slings, four centipedes, one colony of the uh, milk, milk back isopods, and then two of the pink dragon millipedes. So I'm going to quickly tidy up and then uh, get ready to rehouse them all. Okay then, so I'm going to be starting off with the centipedes. Uh, I'm going to do the orange leg first. And you can see the orange leg right at the top there. So I just wanted to uh, quickly change my lens uh, to the macro lens, which will be definitely better for, for doing this video. And uh, the centipede was sort of running all down the side while I was changing it, so, but uh, the actual centipede is, you can see just there. I will get a better look at the, the, um, the other orange leg. I will put the moss in for it as well. So it's got somewhere to hide and, and whatnot. 
And what I do is, because I need to do the labels for these because I haven't done them yet, I will keep the tub with it like this, and that way I know what's what. So okay, take two, let's have a look at the orange leg. So this is the tub. Um, yellow, orange, here we go. So I'm gonna hold it up. You can see the orange leg. So you can see why they're called orange leg centipedes. Because their legs are orange. <laughs> Spot the obvious by trying to show that. here in the corner. These are really, really small and really, really fast, so you've got to be very careful with them. Okay then, so next up is the Scolopendo de Harney. This is the yellow leg, which actually looks very similar to the orange. Really good shot. I think I should prob probably be a bit more responsible, so I'm going to use some tweezers to uh, take these out. Because uh, I'm more for setting a good example, or at least do my best to do so. That's a bit of moss there as well. Okay, this is the last of the four centipedes. Again, this is the yellow leg. Place that in there. Okay then, so the first of the tarantulas is this. Uh, this is the Somapos Amernia. Really, really nice size. And um, this tub is our boil, it's laid down at the moment, but it will be sort of stacked up. Pop it in, and then do the lid. And then what you do is you basically you have it upright like this. So the substrate is all at the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's perfect for our boils. It's what I do for most, but all of my our boil slings, I keep them like this. So. Okay, then, so next up is O species blue, Panay. Um, these are really beautiful spiders. I do already have one of these. I think. Do I have one of these? Yeah. Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, wow, she's tiny. One centimeter. Yeah, it's about one, uh, probably, uh, a one centimeter sling. Really, really fast little spiders. That is probably the best clip I'm going to be able to get at this at the moment because of how small it is. So I'm just gonna plop that into there. You see, it's a, these enclosures are plenty big for it. So I always do it so that the ventilation on terrestrial slings is always at the front and the back. Personal preference, that's all it is. Okay, then, so next up is the Sieve Minax. Yes, I'd say probably like a grown on sling. These are the Thai Black. Um, very, very fast old world tarantulas. I'd also got a bit of a temper, but uh, yeah, character is uh, the better term for it. So I'm going to get this into there. Next up, we have the C. Huani, uh, the hot slingles in your area. Little sling. And whilst I'm talking about nice little slings, I actually received uh, three slings yesterday of uh, a certain type of wolf spider from a certain YouTuber. 
I went and collected them in person from him or her and um, yeah I'm gonna do a, a whole video on that which includes some breeding footage so you know I really hope that you'll um, so sort of look forward to that um, it should be up by the you know around about uh, the time that this goes up so keep your eyes peeled not literally that's horrific next up another one see who on a 99% talking 1% spiders is one of the most accurate comments I've ever ever had on my YouTube channel <laughs> so uh, yeah here we go here's the other one alive and well again just sort of gonna pop that in there no drama no escaping just in and lid on Now, but have you seen me chase slingles? No. Well, not yet, not. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. No, no. <laughs> right. All joking aside, back to being super serious. You can't see me doing the face action, but it's being very, very serious. Next up, everyone's favorite aggressive blue ball of hate. So Rio Pagpus lividus. Um, or the cobalt blue tarantula. Uh, these are the standard ones, yeah. So, I've actually done a little bit of web, and I've actually accidentally webbed the spider up in its own web, which I don't really want to do. Come on, mate, let's free you there. Here we go. Severe Pagopus. If you're not familiar with spiders, um, these are known for being really, really uh, defensive and very fast, very quick to give you trouble, shall we say. Um, oh, I've got you four. So, I've got six of them. Thank you to my girlfriend. Um, Obviously, if you are familiar with spiders, then you know all about them, so, yeah, there you go. See you, Lividum, in there. No problem at all, straight in there. You see, the thing is with me, when I'm doing like unboxing videos, I don't like to have drama, like there's certain other YouTubers that I won't name any um, in particular, but they chase them around and they're shouting and screaming and it's like, why are you doing that? Like, there's no need for you to sort of shout and be like that, just calmly unpack the spiders don't cause them any more stress than they than they need you know so if you're here thinking I'm gonna be sort of chasing them around and poking them with sticks and making them more angry and you are very you are very very wrong I don't do that get the job done don't stress out the animal much rejoicing And everyone rejoices, me and the spiders, because the spiders aren't getting angry and I'm not chasing them around. And I don't have my girlfriend shouting at me for letting them happen because I'm being irresponsible. True story. <laughs> uh, yeah, next up. Uh, this, oh yeah, this one is the, um, the C. Lividum. Uh, this is the green femur. So um, again, just gonna peel right down. There it is. Oh. That one just jumped straight out into the uh, tub there. Oh. Ah. Like all I said about how they don't escape, and then guess what happens? Ah, they escape. It's just under here. What I said about no drama. Look, not gonna scream. Just put him in there. Stay in there. Uh, see Lividum, green femur. By the way, this box under here doesn't look like much to most people, but if you're into sort of keeping um, wood louse and millipedes and things, this is a box of rotting wood. On a scale of one to ten, how jealous are you? I'm like so proud of this. Like, this wood's been decaying for like a year, two years. Also, interesting note, these little wiped dots are so I know what's, um, what's inside the shot and what isn't. But now you can't see them. <laughs> um, what's next? Next up, oh yeah, it's another C. Lividum. Hurrah for Lividum. And they all rejoiced. Not the spiders, because spiders are not what rejoicing is. Because they're simple. Much like most people I know. 
again here we go this one is the other green femur hopefully this one won't give me too much trouble nice size looking very healthy all the legs are there interesting fact I have a box I have a tub and um, on this tub it says the word gimp and um, my girlfriend's dad was like oh what do you keep in there like you know is that where you keep all your, your leather masks and things and I was like no I had too much more males one of them had complete legs and pedipalps which was labeled as not a gimp um, and the one was missing a leg and he was called gimp and that's how I distinguish between the two okay then so here we have the C. lividum emerald green don't really fancy this one escaping because it's been I had to take a little bit of a break from filming um, sadly just because of other things that I had to get done and um, there's now just gone 10 p.m. and I started this this morning at 11 so very very long long day of just filming and editing all day so is the last emerald green Surya Pagipus Lividum same size they look sort of fairly similar when they're this kind of size to be honest and there nice and easy okay then so these are really cool these are the dragon headed millipedes these are of course the ones that produce cyanide so obviously you must handle uh, wash your hands, sorry, uh, if you do come into contact with them. Let's see if I can get this in focus. So these are very small at the moment. Uh, there are two of them in here. Actually, you can see both of them. I keep calling these uh, dragon, pink dragon headed millipedes and I think, they're not, I think they're just called pink dragon millipedes I think the dragon headed comes from the Katie did that I had before okay and next up are the uh, Lavis uh, milk back isopods so isopods are sort of really uh, popular to keep as as pets, I guess. Um, I can't see any in the tub. I think they're all, they're all hiding it's down here. I know Steph had ordered the crystal white ones, but they uh, weren't available so. If you're interested in keeping isopods, um, the spider shop have a really good supply of them, really good stock. And this is the tub for them, which I know a lot of you are going to think that this is massively too big. However, this is full of decaying leaves, decaying wood, um, you know, various um, sort of wood um, that I've been soaking myself. Some of this has been soaking literally for two years. A year two years and so this wood if you look it's so soft it's like polystyrene you can just, just shred the wood and this is what they need they need really bottom wood so again this uh, piece of wood here and you can literally just break it so really really good wood for them I will sprinkle the bits of leaves in and um, in there hopefully they will uh, you know breed in there quite readily and will will do quite well so I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoyed sort of seeing what I received 
and seeing the sort of basic setups for the most of these um, but the uh, Sevilla Pygopus uh, will sort of you know, dig burrows and things like that which is why there's no decor in there they uh, are slings they don't really need it as adults I will put things in there for them um, obviously the millipede something a little bit different I have kept them before so it'd be nice to sort of see how they go and hopefully they'll breed as will the isopods uh, the only things that I haven't sort of shown in this video as far as rehousing are of course the mealworms um, but they're pretty simple they just get emptied into a tub nothing special uh, they're obviously feeders so um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below as always don't forget to subscribe uh, like leave a comment feel free to share my content and as always thank you to my patrons for their continued support if you're interested in supporting me on patreon and you're able to do so uh, there'll be a link in the description and annotation at the end of the video and with that said everyone i hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and uh, leave me some video suggestions down below and i'll see you soon in the next video